Hi, this is Alan Gleason for Crossfader. In this video, I'll be looking at Nugen's VizLM loudness metering plugin. VizLM is part of Nugen's loudness toolkit, which also includes LM Correct, a standalone and Pro Tools audio suite device that analyzes your source audio and can adjust it to match a particular loudness standard. The loudness toolkit also includes ISL, a precision true peak limiter. VizLM keeps track of loudness normalization in your stereo and surround productions up to 7.1.2. It covers all the major loudness specifications and is fully customizable. It's broken down into two main areas. You've got a history section here, graphical display, and then you've got a loudness meter section over here on the right hand side. To begin with, we'll look at the loudness history section. This section gives you a graphical overview of various loudness measurements within your mix. Currently it's just set to display 30 seconds, but because I've analyzed my whole mix, I'll set it to something longer, which is around the length of the mix. So I can adjust my macro view at the top here to move around within my mix. As I'm playing here, I can turn on follow and the display will follow my mix. So I can see it's, that's where it is there. Let's zoom in a tiny bit. So you can see that it's updating the short term measurement, which is the line that it's actually drawing there. So I've made some adjustments and now it's updating the loudness. Over on our left hand side here, we can turn on what it's actually displaying here. So we can turn on and off, say the macro at the top. We can actually turn off the history if we only want to look at our loudness metering section here to give us more uh, screen area. Let's turn that back on there and I can turn off my integrated line. So this is minus 13.1 LUFS is what it's calculated the mix to be at at the minute you can see it's adjusting slightly there um, so i can turn that on and off i can do the same this is an integrated with dialogue i can do true peak and there's various other short-term momentary and um, flags alerts that you can turn on that it will actually display in our history loudness section here some of how this display is set out is when we go into our options we've got settings where we can adjust things like the range if you want to customize um, the display we can change the colors and we've got lots of presets available here that are a lot of the kind of loudness standard um, metering requirements that you might actually need depending on the region that you're actually in um, over on the metering section here when i select loudness it will give me my short-term measurement my integrated and the loudness distribution range if there's other specifications that I need to measure, by default it only actually shows three of them here. I can actually change the size of my metering section. And if I go into my options, and I can go into edit, and I can turn on other things if I want to see momentary or integrated with dialogue, I can turn them on there. So that when I go back here to my loudness, now I've got more specifications there. I've got two bar meters here. One is for uh, short term, and the other one is for momentary. I can just reset them there. And you've got various other at the top here. You've got the maximum momentary in LUFS. And if I click on the M, I get the short term maximum reading. Now currently this display here is showing loudness. I can switch it over to display true peak. And when it's in true peak mode, I can get a meter for my left and right. And because this is surround compatible, you've got other meters there for if you've got this on a surround channel, they will actually display the information that you actually need there. I can view both meters at the same time. So now we're getting a combination of both loudness and true peak meters along with our history. So in a relatively compact inter interface, we're getting a lot of information being displayed at the same time. So as well as the visual display here, if I wanted to be alerted of a particular variation, I could go into my options section and say if I went into my alerts and say maximum, I want to get notification when the the momentary goes above below a certain measurement so when I adjust that there it will start to give me notifications of where those issues are occurring and then I can go through those various ones skipping to them there and it's updating me on the information in the lower corner there other useful things in the options section you can actually export the measurements of your mix to a text file so you can set the location there and here you can designate this sort of information that's actually going to export. You've also got an auto log there, which you can actually record in automation the information that's been cataloged in the plugin. Finally, you've just got your global section, which will set your zooms and you can offset the time code and the frame rate. You can also save the history when you close your project. If you want the information available when you come back rather than 
on a short song, it might not be such of an issue, but if you're working on quite a large project, maybe like an hour or two, it can be a real headache to actually having to play through your mix again for the plugin to recalculate the measurements. One particular advantage of using this plugin is there's many plugins on the market that calculate LUFS. But often when you make any adjustment in a mix, you know, you're coming towards the end of your mix and you're making tweaks here and there. Often to get the accurate LUF, say if you're looking to measure the integrated, to get an accurate measurement of that, you would need to, again, play through your whole mix again to get the, to get the reading. Whereas with the VizLM, say if I had a section here that... So if I felt that just that, that symbol there was too loud and I wanted to automate that, I can just grab that and make my adjustment. So I want to turn it down a bit. So rather than having to play through the whole mix again, I just play back through that particular section. And I will update my history again, and that will be reflected in the integrated values. So I'll be back to my getting a clear reading of what the loudness is in my actual mix. So usually the way I use this is that I have on my master channel, when I'm coming to the end of a mix, I will have one pre-processing and then one at the end of my chain. This could be my mix or my master chain. Now the one that I use in the front, this one is more like a global. So get a an overall picture of my mix, any kind of like momentary or short term in increases in level that might be unnecessary, maybe something I've mix missed, like there's excessive low end energy or certain percussive element that kind of gets lost, but will affect your integrated level. It's very good at allowing you to track them down. And then the one that I have on the end of my chain allows me to really kind of dial in and get exactly the loudness uh, normalization standard that I'm working to get it, get it dialed in exactly correctly, quickly, and with all the relevant information that I want actually displayed. So you have a lot of information here. You don't necessarily have to have it displayed all the time, but having the option to configure it to exactly the loudness standard that you want is a really powerful feature and keeps you really on track and enables you to hit that loudness standard every time which for me is a real time saver and makes this an indispensable plugin. As with all other NewGen's plugins, there's free trials available. So if you found this video useful, head over to NewGen and check it out. This has been Alan Gleason for Crossfader. Remember to click that like and subscribe to keep updated on all our latest videos and I'll catch you again next time.